Hello uh, YouTube, what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero and welcome to episode 32 of our Pokemon Rotom Dex playthrough. In the last episode, we talked to Rotom Dex a whole lot. After every single battle, he was just giving us great, great information and I'm just so thankful that it's a, it's a season to be thankful. I'm just so thankful that Rotom Dex is here to tell us after every single battle about how we can use the QR scanner or about how we can check our bag to see what's to see to heal up our Pokemon. And and I just I am such a big fan of Kukui. I love how Rotom Dex asks after every single battle. If you want to check out the last episode, make sure you click the i card at the very top of the screen. There's a whole lot of great information that Rotom Dex gave us in that episode. In today's episode, we're going to talk to Rotom Dex even more, but we're going to be doing it at the Aether Paradise. So if you're excited for today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below, do subscribe if you're new, and you know what? Hi Rotom Dex, how are you? Anyway, let's go ahead and start off with a team recap. First up, um, we have Buttons, our level 29 starter Dartrix with Razor Leaf, Pluck, Tackle, and Ominous Wind holding the Flyanium Z. Then we have Jet, our level 28 Umbreon with Assurance, Bite, Quick Attack, and Sand Attack holding the Amulet Coin. Our Kenimon, our level 28 Araquanid with Leech Life, Bubble Beam, Infestation, and Bite. Negative Vibes, level 28 Snorlax with Bite Slam, Brick Break, Defense Crow, and Amnesia holding the Leftovers. Frisco, our level 28 Oricorio with Air Cutter, Peck, Pound, and Teeter Dance holding the Sharp Beak. And lastly, we have Lindsay, our level 28, uh, Lycan Rock Dusk Form with Rock Tomb, Bite, Thunder Fang, and Thrash holding the Rocky Um Z. And I, that wasn't last. I'm so sorry. Last, we have Rotom Dex, who is here to give us advice that we didn't ask for. Had a bad hair day for the trainer passport photo? Don't worry. You can retake it anytime. Here we go. We're running in here because in the last episode, um, we finished up uh, all of Hano Grand Resort. <clears throat> Let me tell you about Aether. Oh my gosh, I already did this! Good God, then you will come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too! Oh, even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. It's a Kahuna. I look after all the trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not, uh, not that I've got many. I've never even gotten married. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest ally is the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. Are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business to tend to. You go see all the amazing tech that Aether's developing and tell me about it later, yeah? That's right. I'll see you on the next island. Ula Ula, yeah? Then let's meet up at Mally Garden. Yep, it's goodbye, Akala Island. But, uh, though I guess we can come back anytime we want to, huh? Then let us enjoy an adventure upon that grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I say, what? By which I mean to say, the ferry. Woo! I can't wait to talk to Rotom again. I can't wait to talk to Rotom again. It's been too long. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise can float out the sea? And it's all because of the Pokemon who get up. Did you know that, Domino? I knew that. Aw, uh, I thought I finally had one up on you. Oh, I can't wait to actually see inside of Aether Paradise for myself. I said this in one of the last episodes. It's really hard to keep the voices for my playthrough when I'm watching other people's Let's Play. Because I just want to, like, especially when one of their voices might be better than mine or uh, something like that. I always want to try and do that, but I got to try and stick to what I've got here. Ooh, Aether looking nice. Look at all these people. Look at all these Pokemon. Who do you think's holding it up? Six Waylord. Do you think Six Waylord are underneath this place? They just got a big hole in the bottom that they can float up in. Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. Really? Really, really? Where are you going? Yeah, you better be going up. Because if they take you down, you're in trouble. If they take you down, you're in trouble. Aether Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all of the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our team work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. But you would not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Aether Paradise. A jamming signal is broadcast throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. 
I want to talk to Rotom. Where's Rotom, Dex? Oh, crap. I do not have a voice for this. Excuse me, Mr. Faba. Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will everyone know how important I am? Yes, Branch Chief Faba. Now I must go speak with the president about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around and then take them to meet the president as well. I feel like I've got that voice down. That's a decent voice. I also feel like it's somebody from Digimon. Whose voice is that? Phew. Why you look her from bottom to top like that? Welcome to Aether Paradise, Domino and How. My name is Wick. Alola! Alola, Wick! Wait, how do you, you know who we are? How'd you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island. And of course, I heard how you helped protect the Pokemon there too, young Mr. Howe. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is up above us. I've got this voice down too. Oh my goodness. Hey, here's a button. Let's push it. I don't know what anything does. Let's push it. Woo! This really is what the what Sun and Moon was supposed to be. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it. I think I lost the voice. Hold on. I gotta get it back. I gotta get it back. Domino? You and Hal are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. Uh, I am not. How'd you know? I am not around 11. Yeah, I took the first chance I had to join the Allen Challenge once I turned 11. Because someday I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he is way too strong. So for now, I'll enjoy my Island Challenge. I'm not trying to do the voice that it, that it sounds like I'm trying to do. In fact, I'm trying so hard to avoid slipping into the voice that my voice is starting to do. How, how lovely for you. I suppose all children must yearn to take a journey of their own, choosing when they get to be about your age. What? Though you're hardly just children anymore, trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. How? Or Domino, how? Would you two like to see the conservation area upstairs? Here's the button. Let's push it. I'm gonna start saying that. Here's the button. Let's push it. You know what my favorite part about this episode so far is? The lack of... Never mind. Never mind. Aether Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this reason, the use of Pokeballs is strictly forbidden within the conservation area. Whoa! We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here. We also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example. They are quite terribly overhauled. What? They are quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called Marini. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my old Pokédex. I traveled through Kanto before when I was younger, you see. Corsola and Alola, where their dad, excuse me, where their natural enemies Marini are plentiful. Any Corsola has stubbly, have stubby branches on their head. Yeah, my Gramps is always saying that nature's got its cruel side, just as it gives us blessings. But can the Aether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon that are out there? Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge how, uh, just how much we humans should try to affect that, can't it? That's pretty amazing! The Aether Foundation seems awesome! But why'd you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, she should be here to she should be here in the conservation area now. I ain't trying to meet nobody! That's how they block me off from going this way. Tudowoodo is a Pokemon that pretends to be a tree in order to protect itself. But uh, wouldn't it be better to disguise itself as the kind of tree you'd actually see here in Alola? Or would that make it seem like an executor? Are you hinting at a Lolan Sudowoodo in Pokemon? Ultra Stars? Go, no, but Ultra Stars is not a thing. Imagine using the same Pokemon in your boxes in battle again after hundreds of years. It's kind of like a time machine. See boxes, blah, 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 blah. 
When Pokemon evolve, their appearance can change quite a lot. The Pokemon can also change forms, which can change how they look and their stats. When they're there, there are the regional variants of Pukata Pukata Kapata Kapata Kapata. People aren't telling me anything I don't know! I've been playing Pokemon for 20 years! Please! Please, Game Freak! Make, let there be a setting where I've played Pokemon longer than you have! Goodness! I'm so triggered today! We are protecting so-called regional variants. That is the climate. What is uh, what is in the climate and features that has affected by which focus on your weather temperature? Regional variants because you're going to think about it like this. If this is a tropical region. You get a tan, right? Isn't it something like that? Okay, thank you for making that such a short explanation. I love I love seeing those Pokemon walk around like that. I think that's so. Now, why am I? Oh crud! I don't have a voice for her. My sweet Pokemon, I promise to keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. There we go. Got it. Got it. I got it. I got it. Ah. Okay. I hope Wick and Lusamine don't talk back to back. Excuse uh, me. You must be Domino and How. Wake. Welcome to Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. I am the president of the foundation, but please, just call me Lucimi. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reason, or even for profit. And that is why I'm here. I will be like a mother to all of those poor Pokemon and show them with love, and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from the Alola region, are worthy of my love. Oh, Miss Lusamine, I don't know how you do all this. You're like not even that much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. You are? Wait, what? Oh, you. The right style does wonders, you know. And how your style is a bit wanting. Hmm? I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick a smashing outfit. Look, like what you wear? I don't think anyone else except... Uh, I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look, except maybe Lily. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children would be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. Is this actually happening in this game? So, uh, can I, like, not get to Ula Ula? Why is my face looking... Oh, I'm so that tremor! Did something happen on the lower floors? Uh-oh. 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 Why is this great? Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness gracious. I have a different face! Yes! Yes, thank you! They gave us a different facial expression for once! Let's go! Okay, I was about to say. You are... Have you come from a distant world? Miss Lusamine, stand back! That thing's not right! Not, not right! Stop! Miss Lusamine! Miss Lusamine! You poor creature. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight. I'm, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm, I'm tired of this. Whoa, I forgot that this thing battled. I don't know what I was thinking running up to it. Oh wait, it doesn't battle. Whoa, that looks so cool. Let's go buttons. Let's go buttons. We are here to show these people what's up. Go for Razor Leaf. Smack it up. Mano Shock. Oh crap. Um, I am going to switch. It's using Venoshock. 
It's poison rock, right? Alright, let's try our okay mine. If I can get a bubble beam off, I mean, that'll be pretty good. I don't know if it's going to have any rock moves. Clear smog. Is that poison? No, that just hit. Stat changes were removed. Got it. Alright, let's go for bubble beam. Use Venoshock. See if I care. Yeah, that did nothing. Uh, wait, can I catch it? I'm gonna go for one more bubble beam. You're not going to crit. Oh, that's right, I can't throw Pokeballs here. I forgot about that. That was my last super potion? What the heck did I do catching all of these Pokemon? Let me tell you, there are some Pokemon that are mad annoying to try and catch. Oh, he's gone. He said... Boop! Oh. Boop! That's actually still really cool. I really like that. So it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. Mr. Zabit, are you okay? Why so shocked? Was it your first time seeing an Ultra Beast? Those mysterious creatures that live beyond the wormholes, the holes that suddenly open in the sky and lead to Ultra Space. It would serve you well to remember this. Who the? Seriously, what's with that? Get up! These are my guests, the Ultra Recon Squad. They've been giving the Foundation advice about the Ultra Beasts. Why don't you introduce yourself? So we meet again, trial goer. The Ultra Recon Squad is, well, as the name suggests, it is a group that. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. It is a group that investigates Ultra Wormholes and Ultra Beasts. This is Captain Psycho, and I am Soldaria. Ultra Beasts? Our world is wrapped in darkness, though it also showed with a light once long ago. There is a creature known as the Krosma. It is able to bestow light upon others, but now it runs wild beyond reason. We call it the Blinding One out of respect, but... I, oh, I fear that the day may come when Alola loses its light to the Krosma. But everything will be fine. If this Necrozma, or even an Ultra Beast like the one we just saw, should come to this world from another, the Aetherfoul Nation will be prepared to protect the light of Alola. Rest easy, you will not need to worry about a thing. Creepy people! Quick! These two are still in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to their next island. Oh, at once, ma'am! I will go check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. I need to speak with Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. It may be that our experiments to open an Ultra Wormhole are not going as well as we'd hoped. I'll see the two of you to Ula Ula Island then. Yeah, sure. Why we wave like that? Why is that? Why is that how we wave? So, I think I've put together what's happening. I never thought I'd actually get to see the Ultra Whirlpool in my life. Never, never mind meeting people from another world. Man, the supplies just never stop coming. I've got to tell Professor Burnett about this next time we see her. I'm glad you feel that way. What happened here today was a surprise to us as well. But I was very glad to meet you both. Please take this to remember your visit. Some malasadas for how... And 16 Master Balls for Domino. It's crazy how Malasadas taste even better when you eat them together with someone else. Yes, I think I know what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. And for you, Domino, a TM for the move Psychic. Wait, can't Umbreon learn that? I think Umbreon can learn that. I think my plan was to give that to Umbreon. 
I hope you both have wondrous adventures on your island challenge. We will! Thanks, Miss Wig! Jeez! Whoa! My heart's still kinda racing, you know? The Ultra Wormhole is real, and Ultra Beasts are real too! I've lost his voice. And now, this Ultra Recon Squad too! The world is just getting better! I bet we'll discover even more new things on the next new island too! On the next island too! We're gonna need all the energy we can get! Time to dig in! All this animation was not there last time. You want a malasada? Ah, so good! Shoot, I already ate the whole thing! His... I don't like his voice. But if I do a different voice, it's just going to be copying other people's voices. Ah. I might have to change Hao's voice, like, right now. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. Why does it have to be a Pelipper? You're s- <sighs> Alright, I'm good. Ooh, I have to get some new clothing. I don't know if I want new clothing. I really like my clothes. Land ahoy! Alright, Team Terra Firma underfoot again! Ula Ula Island is like a totally different place than Mele Mele or Akala, huh? We're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where was it? Molly Garden? Why do you want us to go to a garden? Guess we'll find out when we get there, right? I was doing so great without you. Uh, we made it to Alola now. That means another new island Pokédex for you, big boy. Fill her up. Zzz, zzz. Yeah, you thought I wasn't going to come back here and check this. You thought I wasn't going to... I would love to see my map right now. I would love to see my map right now. I would love to see my map. I would love to see my map. I would love to thank you, rank you. Rotom, I'm not clicking you anymore, dog. I've had enough. I've, I've had enough, Rotom. I've had enough. I've had enough, Rotom. Okay, just gave me five thousand dollars. That's a nugget. I can't give you nuggets of wisdom, so that'll have to do. Welcome to Mali City, Mali City, Mali City. Two great peaks tower over Ula Ula Island, Mount Hokulani and Mount Lanakila. Did you know that snow falls on the peak of Lanakila even in the height of summer? Yes, that's how geography works. The islands of Alola are quite far apart from one another. You'd wear out your poor Pokemon if you made them go that far. You have to take the ferry. I thought you could, like... I thought you were able to Mantine Surf from one to another. Once you've seen how fearsome the totem Pokemon is, you can face just about anything. Did you say THE totem Pokemon or A totem Pokemon? Because I disagree to an extent. Some of them really suck. Alright, we're just going to run up in here and then we're going to call it an episode. You know, those times when you do nothing at all and just lays about, it can be a really beautiful thing. Really? I just got a shiny Pokemon through Wonder Trade. Fire. I'm going to take a break too. Happening. My usual, please. Brock and Nurse Joy! Okay, coming right up. Thank you. Ah. Oh, excuse me. But hey, I think I should get I think I should get to take a little break sometimes too, right? You should. Right. I get just as tired as the Pokemon do. The longer you keep on wake walking, the farther you'll get, right? And the better you rest up, the longer you'll be able to keep on walking. Ooh. I have to say, seeing injured Pokemon all the time does slowly wear me down bit by bit. It's precisely because I want to make them all feel better 
that I can take the time to properly relax and recharge my batteries. Here, a little secret between you and me. Give me rainbow beans. And once I duck back around behind my counter, I will be all business again. You'll see. Doesn't even acknowledge that she was on a break. So they gave Nurse Joy... It took 20 years for Game Freak to let Nurse Joy out from behind the freaking... When your Pokemon evolves, you think they'll be like, Yes, finally! Alright, what are we selling here? I know I, I lost my train of thought, whatever. Besides Shadow Claw... Shadow Claw is probably good. Alright, let's buy... I don't know how I'm out of these. No, stop. Buy 20. 20. Thank you. Buy 13 of these as well. I, you know, I gotta try and start looking like Komo'o. Did I talk to her? I'm gonna assume I did. Woo! Man! Alright. Now, the first two episodes today have been rough. I don't know what's wrong with me. Or the game, but I'm just in a triggered mood. And the next episode, I imagine that's going to get better because we're finally going to be doing some new stuff that I'm looking forward to doing. So I hope you'll check out the next episode and not judge the entire series on these last two episodes. But if you did wind up enjoying my frustration of the episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you for the next episode of our Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. Until then, have a blessed day.